Everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a stock that I think will go insane tomorrow and why I bought it and why y'all should keep it in your watch list. I'm going to be doing some updates on some of the stocks that I've mentioned in the past. And we're going to discuss Amazon because Amazon is reporting earnings tomorrow. All right, so um, before we begin, do not forget to annihilate the like button on your way in. And also don't forget to click on that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. So let's get right into it. Right off the bat. All right, so we got the SPY right now. And in the last video, I gave y'all a um, one, per, one bullish perspective on the SPY and one bearish perspective on the NASDAQ. And it turns out that um, right after that rejection of, of 3,900, the next day it immediately broke out and the bull flag was there and it was confirmed. We're going to look at the four hour time frame, right? So the, the breakout happened right over here. I think this was Tuesday and the market has been running not quite as aggressively. It's taking a sweet time. Like it ran a bit, went sideways. And then after the event that happened, I think it was there was an FOMC meeting today that happened at one o'clock. Um, the market volatility kicked in again, and now we're moving back higher. Now, regarding the NASDAQ, that bearish perspective got crushed right after, like right after that day. I'm going to erase all of these. All right, so initially, the bearish perspective was standing until this thing happened right over here. This is when the whole thesis is done. This is no longer clean, at least. At least what I was looking to see was something that just looked like this, where we drop here, we go here, and then eventually we fall. But this right there, right um, on the 19th, was the end of that thesis, all right? And right now, we're looking bullish. The market is going higher, and I don't think we're done yet. Um, Yesterday, I believe two stocks had earnings, Microsoft and Google had earnings, and it pushed the market even higher, all right? So that break and retest on this double bottom bull flag was quite clean, as you can see. There was the run, the breakout right here, followed by the retest, and now, now we can continue on higher. Um, today, it hit the target of 12,600. Which I which is what we were looking for this morning, right over here, right there, right here. All right, we were looking for that target of twelve thousand and six hundred right before the market opened, and everything turned out turned out well. Now, where are we going to go next? I think twelve thirteen thousand is the next target for this one. I'm not bearish on the market right now. Not with the way this is behaving. Um, it's the bullish trend is behaving on both the SPY and the NASDAQ. So watch it for a move up to that circle. Maybe by Monday, Monday morning or by Friday after Amazon reports earnings. Whichever is first. All right. Now, the stock that y'all should be keeping in your watch list for um, tomorrow, that stock is... AMD. All right. And the reason why I want to share AMD with y'all is because it's because of this. If we go on the one and we zoom in right over here, right? If we zoom in right there, we can see that there is a bullish pennant that actually broke out right at the open, right here. As soon as it broke out, it broke out in the morning. And I caught this one at $88, right over here, right there in this candle. This is where I caught it. And now it's going sideways and it's at $90. I don't think this is quite done yet. Um, if this is as clean as it looks and it behaves really well, we should see this one going all the way up to $95 at least. And the same bullish stands, I, I have the same bullish stance with uh, NVIDIA as well. I don't think these two stocks are done. Also, they put out some news about the Senate passing a semiconductor bill for $52 billion, right? 
So there's a lot of there's a lot of positive news and positive catalysts with this one. But the structure is what I'm interested in, right? It's clean. Therefore, definitely watch this one for a long to $95 by Friday. By by Thursday. If it gets there, if it gets there on Thursday, then there may be some turbulence with the overall markets. Alright. Now, now let's talk about Let's talk about Amazon. And speaking of turbulence, Amazon, Amazon looks good. All right. Again, we have this double bottom bull flag on the chart right over here, right here. And if you are new and have no clue what a double bottom bull flag looks like, if you go on Google and you type double bottom bull flag, the structure is right here. This is what it looks like. We got the double bottom and it runs. It's very, very simple. And this is what Amazon is showing right now, but with a little bit of a twist, right? With this retest right here. All right. Now, tomorrow, I think, again, I think the market is going to run. Where is this thing going to go? If it hits, if it goes all the way up to like $128, maybe $129, by the end of the day tomorrow i think i think the market may i think the reaction to earnings might be an, an option killer where where the stock goes nowhere all right but if it drags its feet and it's really really slow and it only goes up to like 122 dollars or 123 dollars then the reaction might actually be positive and the market makers just might push the stock way up there to 130 just to finish out this entire play so that's that's my thoughts on it but looking at the uh, looking at how they've been doing in the past earnings i mean it's it's not it's not all green it's not like it's not like microsoft or apple where everything is all green in here they've been they've been missing a little bit on the revenue right and over here also on the aps so we will see exactly how what what they reports and how the market takes it um google and microsoft i believe one of them missed but the reaction was still positive on both of them actually let's check out microsoft yeah so the reaction was really positive and then more buyers stepped in today right it actually formed a bull flag entry day as you can see right over here and right here right there right and then there was the breakout in the afternoon after like 40 minutes after that meeting happened so so far so far it's looking bullish and if you go on to the if you zoom out completely i think it has a lot more room to run i think it does like the next level to take out are these individuals at 277 you know, i'm not bearish on microsoft's at all i think it can get there when is it going to get there i think it wouldn't be crazy to uh, to say that it can get there tomorrow i think it can do it so microsoft to 277 tomorrow by the close all right so that's that's my honest thoughts on these stocks now some updates on q qualcomm Right. This one, I told you all last week to watch it for a move all the way up to 150 and it went all the way up to 155 and today it had earnings and um, it's starting to pull back. Now, where is this thing going to go next? I think like after a move like that, the stock is just going to chill out. It's going to chill out, maybe do some something like this and then eventually it's going to make up its mind whether it wants to continue higher right or whether it really wants to fall and retest 135 again which i don't know we'll see we'll see if that we'll see if that happens if it forms a structure to to make that make sense but for now i like the move is done people are gonna take their money off the table like completely they've been taking their money off the table and i just think that it's going to chill to the like to go sideways now the other stocks that we're going to do an update on I shared Walmart with y'all over here. I believe it was like on the six. And again, y'all see how it behaved, right? Like after it broke out, I released that video. I warned y'all about the chop fest, 
that may happen afterwards, right? So it was just chilling there for so, so, so long. And then it started running. It started running. It didn't get to 133 by the 15. It took a sweet time. And then right after, and then right when they got there, they put out bearish, very, very bearish news. Like this right here is very hard to predict. Like very difficult to predict. This, it's, it's reasonable. Like this, I told y'all it would happen and it did. But this right here, like it's, it's very tough. Like you have to be, there, there has to be some type of luck involved. If you had, if you were the person to buy puts, like either on he, right here and you held or you bought it right on time before the drop. All right. But right now it's trying to recover again. I think, I think we need a new structure on Walmart before, um, before I know exactly where it's going to go next. All right. But for now, it's just going to chill. Maybe, but it's going to go to like 130, chop some more all the way until earnings and then earnings is going to decide its fate all right so that is my very honest thoughts and opinion on that one one last stock that i want to share with y'all which is it's looking interesting but the contracts are not so appealing all right it's siga s-i-g-a now this one is going parabolic it's running which is actually pretty good like I want this one to run. I want it to go really, really, really high, like real high. Um, how high can it go? I don't know. Like it's, it doesn't have much. Let's go on here the monthly. Um, it has, it has a lot of history. Yes, it has a lot of history. Is this thing the top? Is eighteen dollars the top of Sega? Somebody could argue that it is because of this, right? Somebody could argue that it is or maybe that twenty dollars is the top but what if we break it right how high can we really really go and that that i don't know and i'm just patiently waiting for for the opportunity to show up and when it does when it does the trade will be really really good on it but um i just want to put this one in your radar be very patient right um, if it goes really, really high in a very unpredictable fashion, that's actually pretty good because the way down will be even better. All right, so that's that's my honest thoughts on all of these stocks. And that is the end of the video. Again, do not forget to annihilate the like button for you to buy with them. As always, helps the channel a lot and allows more people to get this knowledge as well. Also, if you are new to the channel and you haven't done so already, definitely click on subscribe and click on the notification bell along with all notifications. That way you don't miss out on future uploads. If you'd like to be part of a private Discord community where you can get all of this information in real time, you can find that as the first link in the description of the video below. If you haven't added me to social media yet, you can find me at Paul and Guma and I've been knowledge lab on Instagram and on Twitter. And lastly, if all of this is brand new to you, there's some very basic step-by-step -step directions in the description of the video below, step one to step three. It only takes about 10 to 15 minutes for you to get signed up with all the tools you need to start trading immediately. You can also get some free stock for signing up with Webull using the third link in the description of the video below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Nguma with Pattern Knowledge Lab, where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you in the next video.